Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning complete WordPress development for beginners. And in this video session guys, we are going to discuss that how can we make backup or set up a WordPress project by using an existing project. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of various types of customization in WordPress. So basically, we have a uh, WordPress setup as you can see where we have defined several custom post types like movies and something called these okay so if you go to the appearance and themes then you will see that we have also made a custom theme okay so basically this is a WordPress project this is a WordPress project actually it exists in some different server in some different setup okay but we want to make this setup as a copy to this WordPress setup right now this is a blank setup actually where wordpress has not installed so far so we want that first of all we will install this wordpress setup and now we are going to make copy of this wordpress setup to this wordpress setup okay so basically to achieve this task we have multiple options in wordpress but right now we are going to study about this by using wp migrate db okay so how can we set up our wordpress theme by using our existing theme by using wp migrate db plugin okay so we will see in a bit so basically what we have to do first we have to install this wordpress setup okay so let's say that just go to admin panel and let's make a, a blank database for this project first okay so open new tab and this is a uh, let's say that blank wp this is the project name okay so just i'm going to copy this project name go to wordpress click on database just type the database name here any name you want as your own just click on create so successfully we have created a blank database okay where actually no table has installed so if you go to wordpress setup just click on let's go and here we need to pass the database so this is the database that we have created so just copy the name and paste here blank wt username is root password is root and these values remain same okay so just click on submit so this is the configuration file content so just you need to copy all these things just go to wordpress setup and this is the blank wp test setup okay so just click on wp config sample so just remove all these contents first paste all the contents that we have copied from here so just paste all these contents here close this file and now we have to rename this file and remove the sample from its name so just remove sample so this is wpconfig.php okay so just go to browser again and click on run the stall so basically WordPress setup has made some of the tables means inside our created database okay so we will check in a bit so just write some of the title informations into this so let's say that it, this is a blank WordPress setup okay so this is blank WPT setup let's say admin as the username password is admin as we have written so confirm use of weak password and let's say that this is a dummy email id that i have written click on install wordpress so basically we are going to install the wordpress setup as a blank wordpress project okay so successfully our blank wp project has been set up with a blank wordpress setup okay so just click on login and let me pass all these credentials admin and admin these are the credentials actually we have used at the time of installation so if you go to the database just click on refresh so now we have 12 tables right now these all tables are dynamically generated by wordpress setup okay so just give your database click on visit site so right now we have no custom post type in this list and if you go to the appearance themes so we have no any custom theme that actually WordPress provide so we want that we are going to make the copy of these things into this website so how can we achieve this task so first of all we have to install WP migrate DB plugin inside this WordPress setup okay this is the WordPress setup actually we are going to copy okay so just go to plugins click on add new and let's say that inside this search bar just type wp migrate db 
so these are the filtered plugins actually WordPress provides about this keyword okay so just scroll down and this is the plugin that we are going to install a called WP migrate DB provided by delicious brains okay so just I'm clicking on install now so right now it is asking for FTP details to install this plugin okay so we have two options without FTP details to install that plugin in this WordPress setup first by go to its means official website so just type WP migrate DB okay so this is and now after passing that first of all we need to download this plugin from the WordPress official website by clicking on this download button so if I click on download button so successfully we will see that the file is downloading now okay so just copy this downloaded folder go to your WordPress setup go to WP content sorry it's not the WordPress setup this is the WordPress setup actually we are going to copy okay so just go to WP content inside this plugins list pass that so this is the zip folder that we have downloaded so successfully if we unzip that folder inside this WP content and inside this plugin folder so this is WP migrate DB okay so if we go to front end again so this is the website so just if I go to the installed plugin section so just click on installed plugin so as we can see WP migrate DB is now present in this installed plugins list only we have to click on this activate button to activate this plugin so this is the first way that how can we install a plugin inside this WordPress setup but in the second way if I click on add new again so first of all we have to remove the installed means this is zip folder inside from this plugin section okay so just I'm going to delete all these things from this now so go to WP theme again and let me go outside of that and let me make uh, another folder called BKP for this okay so these are the things that I have copied here so just go to again click on a WP theme go to WP content plugins so right now we have no WP migrate DB plugin placed here okay so just go to browser again let me type WP migrate DB okay so this is the keyword that we have to write to search the migration plugin to, of database basically this is the plugin actually used to migrate the database from one WordPress setup to another WordPress setup and as you know guys that in WordPress each and every section of content is from database okay so if we scroll down so this is the plugin that we need to install in the second way manner okay but it asking for FTP details so how can we skip this step so just go to your WordPress setup go to WP theme root folder just click on WP config and now we need to add a constant here to means escape the FTP details step okay so just copy this step once more and let's say that just paste and instead of WP debug let's say FS method okay and it should be direct so let's pass value called direct okay so this is the parameter that you have to means add to skip the FTP details process okay so once again just refresh this page once more reload again so once we click on install now so now as you can see the step as not asking about the FTP details installing plugin installing right now so just click on activate now successfully guys plugin has activated so just go to tools under the tool section you can see migrate DB just click on that we are going to migrate the database from one section to another section okay so if we go to the WordPress setup so this is the WP theme WordPress actually this WordPress setup has okay but this WordPress setup means blank WP has the same database of this setup okay so we want to make copy of this WordPress setup to this WordPress setup and this is only responsible by using WP migrate before now okay but we have multiple options to copy one database to another options in various types of plugins in WordPress so we are going to use WP migrate DB so how can we achieve this task so so first of all we need to pass the URL right here this is the old URL means this is the current URL of this WordPress project so we are going to pass the new URL means in which we are URL we are going to copy so if you go to WordPress setup so this is blank WP new URL actually we are going to copy okay so just paste it here remove HTTP colon from its front end 
okay so now this is a new URL actually we are going to copy from this WordPress setup to this WordPress setup and the next thing that what is the root path folder structure path of that folder so this is the current folder part of this project okay so for this project so just go to again folder structure this is the new WordPress setup just go to root blank WP copy this path means where www HTML and blank WP it will vary guys if you're using a uh, something called Microsoft operating system Windows 7 Windows 8 then this path will be vary so don't worry at all just copy the path of this WordPress setup okay copy this path and paste inside this new file path okay so this is the URL of old WordPress setup this is the new WordPress setup this is the folder structure of old and this is the folder structure of okay new so just I'm going to click on export button so before that just uncheck that and let's export so this is exporting the database okay successfully all the tables 12 tables have been migrated and this is the file actually downloaded in SQL format dot SQL so how can we import that database to the newly created database and that is blank WP okay so first of all we have to remove all the tables from this setup so just click on check all and remove just check all with selected click on drop yes so we have deleted all the tables from this newly created WordPress setup that is blank WP so now right now we have no tables inside this okay so if we refresh this WordPress setup then this will not work okay because database has been deleted so if we cl click on import after clicking on import first of all we have to select the file and this file is here what we have downloaded okay just go to browser click on import and first of all we need to choose that file what we have downloaded so just click on choose file and this is the file that we have downloaded just click on that click open and scroll down click on go so successfully we have migrated each and every table from our old WordPress setup to the new WordPress setup okay so remember if we go to structure so these all 12 tables are but we need to change some of the updated values according to our need okay so what are those values if you go to WP options so you can see that this is now the new WordPress setup actually the provided by this link okay so if we refresh so just again click on login because this is the same credentials of this WordPress setup actually admin admin if the credentials actually this WordPress setup has different so we need to change the credentials of a particular user in this WordPress setup by going to this table WP users okay you can update the credentials from this table so now if we refresh this WordPress setup so now we have installed the database and this is the section as you can see but our error is that that is theme active theme is broken obviously because we have no folder of updated theme inside this so if you go back just click on blank, blank WP just click on WP content themes and we have no content of activated theme because the activated theme is a child theme so child theme does not pointing to any if of its parent theme so just click on WP content go to themes and this is OWT theme so just copy this copy this child theme again just go to themes folder and paste it here after pasting all these folders if we refresh again So as you can see now online web tutor is activated has installed into our system and OWT child also so if we click on this activate button go to front end section just refresh this page so now as you can see we have made the same project setup what we have seen inside this WordPress setup so if you go to its front end so just click on visit site and this is the site of our old existing website and this is the website that we have made as a newly created blank WordPress setup and we have imported this project to this project okay so on the behalf of summary point guys I will tell you that how can we make uh, existing WordPress backup to old WordPress backup okay this is simple possible by using WP migrate DB plugin okay 
but we have multiple options in WordPress actually provided not only a single plugin actually available to WordPress repository we have thousands of plugin to make the WordPress backup okay so basically guys I think I have made much more clear concept about that how can we set up a new WordPress setup from using our existing WordPress setup okay and also we have seen that how can we migrate our WordPress database table to a new WordPress database table okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day